Hey guys, hope you're having an incredible day. Today we're going to be setting up Canadian caller ID for our man Bob the receptionist right here. So we're going to be using this service, it's called Telinx, and I'm going to be going through the steps of setting this up so you can follow along and set it up for yourself as well. So I'm over here in SIP trunking. We're going to hit on create connection. Okay, we're calling it target dial. And then we're going to choose FQDN and hit create. So next up, we're going to hit add FQDN. We are going to drop in the FQDN that is from retail server. So that's retail server right here. And then we're choosing SRV as the DNS record source right here. Just like that, SRV. We're going to hit save. Now under outbound calls authentication, we're going to put in a username and a password. Now for the destination number format, we're going to choose plus E164. Same with the origination. We'll choose Canada as the SIP region. And then down here under codex, we're going to choose G722, G729, and Opus. Okay, go ahead, hit save. Then we're going to hop into outbound. All right, so I just did default as the outbound voice profile. Set the localization country to Canada. The rest are kept the same. We're going to hit save. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to click numbers. We're going to have to buy a number. So now that we've bought our number, it has an auto assigned right here. All right, guys, so now we need to port that number in. So the enter in your phone number right here, get it from your account. Then you're going to need the termination URI. So these are the different termination URIs that are available. So just choose the one from here. I'll share this document in the community afterwards. And then you're going to need the SIP trunk username and password that you set up in the previous step. Hit save. And now you are good to go. Your number should have been ported in. So now we're going to connect it to our trusty friend, Bob, the receptionist, to see if this call goes through. I was looking for some help. Could you tell me a bit more about what you need help with? Can I speak with sales? Just to confirm, you want to reach the sales department, correct? Yes. Thank you. I've transferred you to the sales department. Have a great day. So to set up outbound caller ID, we're going to edit the settings of the number. Okay, so I just turned on CNAM listing. I turned on, I entered in my name. Then we're going to go ahead and hit save. All right, guys, so the last part right here. Okay, you're going to come in here. You're going to copy this HTTP script. I'll share it after the call. Your from number is going to be the from number in your retail account. The to number is where you want to call. Your caller ID name is going to go right here. And then the SIP headers, this is the from and this is the P asserted identity. While I was testing it, I got a, a voicemail from Bob. <laughs> the future's here. Okay, so you're going to put in these SIP headers down at the bottom, which is just a copy of your phone number. Once again, I'll give you this full script. I'll give you the full request content so you can set it up yourself. And now if we right click and hit run, if this works, there you go. I don't know if you can see it, but right here at the top, it says target dial. Let's go, baby. Boom. That's how it's done. So hope you got massive value out of that. If you did, I would really appreciate if you dropped a subscribe. It's free, helps support the channel, and allows me to keep making videos like this. I hope you build some epic voice agents with this, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.